Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. We um, uh, first, uh, good afternoon, everybody. We have uh, with us here the Kenya Kwanzaa team. Um, after extensive consultations in our alliance, Kenyans know that we have um, traveled a journey between uh, the United Democratic Alliance, the NC party, and uh, the Fort Kenya party, together with other parties that have joined us along the way. We have had extensive discussions on how to work together, build a coalition that is going to provide leadership in Kenya to address the very urgent issues in our nation. We are acutely aware that there is need for decisive leadership to be able to deal with the challenges that face our nation at this point in time. We are also acutely clear that there is need for a practical plan on how to get Kenya to the next level and how to make the huge potential that Kenya holds to be a reality. In that endeavor, we realize that all of us have to make concessions, have to make sacrifices for us to be able to achieve that which is good, not just for us as leaders, but more importantly, for the people of Kenya. Um, all of us as leaders, as leaders have had to seed ground, we've had to make sacrifices so that we can build a team that will deliver to the people of Kenya the leadership that will take this country to where every Kenyan aspires this country to be. As a result, we've had two Kenya Kwanzaa candidates, gubernatorial candidates in Kakamega. We have um, uh, discussed both, president, uh, both candidates, the gubernatorial candidates, the Honorable um, Boni Halwale of UDA and the Honorable Cleophas Malala of ANC are formidable candidates for the position of governor in Kakamega County. But we realize that for us to win that seat and for us to formulate a working team that is synergized and working together, these two leaders have, on their own motion, engaged in consultations and um, discussions. After they got to some level, they escalated those consultations and negotiations to us. We have uh, listened to them, we have agreed with them, and we have undertaken that whatever they have agreed will have the endorsement of the, of the Kenya Kwanzaa team. And I want to announce that for Kakamega, the Honorable Boni Halwale has graciously accepted to run for, govern, uh, for, to run for senator of Kakamega uh, County and has graciously ceded ground for the Honorable Malala to run for the position of governor of Kakamega County. This has come out of the spirit of give and take, the spirit of sacrifice, and the clearly demonstrable leadership acumen of these two leaders. 
we have agreed that we are now going to build a team around them uh, from women reps and MCAs and members of parliament so that Kakamega will move into the next level. We are very clear in our mind that Kakamega is going to be a Kenya Kwanzaa county. Um, on behalf of my colleagues, I want to thank these two leaders, especially the Honorable Boni Halwale. And we have agreed that uh, his sacrifice will not go unrewarded. Uh, going into the future, uh, we are going to build a, a team that is going to work for the people of Kakamega and work for the people of Kenya. I want to ask uh, the party leader of ANC to make some remarks, and then I will ask uh, the two gentlemen to also make some remarks so that we can conclude this uh, press statement. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency, uh, Deputy President, uh, Honorable William Samoy Ruto, my colleagues in politics and in the Kenya Kwanzaa Fraternity. Um, I just want to stand here to reiterate that uh, today we say hats off to both Dr. Boni Kalwale and uh, Cleophas Malala. More specifically, uh, we want to appreciate uh, the magnanimity of Dr. Boni Kalwale because he is also a formidable politician in this country, not just a son of Kakamega, but a formidable politician in this country. And what they have done sets the example that we want to pursue in dealing with our members of Kenya Kwanzaa in other areas so that we can have some consensus building. We were very delighted to be associated with a similar initiative in Narok yesterday. Uh, and what is happening in Kakamega today is a consolidation of a process where uh, the leaders of Kenya Kwanzaa are going to pursue the common good of victory for the people of Kenya first, and then the issue of which roles we play comes secondary. So I stand here as the party leader of ANC and as a member of Kenya Kwanzaa to also thank the UDA party for giving this uh, matter maximum reflection. And we expect nothing less apart from respect and humility from the leadership of ANC across the board in understanding that such decisions are not easy, but they are conviction that leadership and where we want to go, we cannot afford to be divided. I am very confident that combining the youth of Cleophas Malala and the experience, vast experience of Dr. Boni Khadwale, Kakamega is so much richer uh, than it was before. And the two who are going to be our front soldiers, frontline soldiers in marshalling the support for the Kenya Kwanzaa team uh, in Kakamega and Western uh, region in, in general uh, are very dependable. We shall work together. Uh, we want a decisive victory, very, very decisive. And their combination is just going to deliver that decisive victory we want. So we say congratulations to both of them, and we also say a big thank you to both of them. And Mr. Deputy President, please extend our best wishes to the fraternity of U UDA. Uh, and also, we have our brother here, will also say something from Ford, Kenya, that we are now saying, let our teams on the ground work together. Nobody should feel humiliated. Nobody should feel insulted. This victory is now in the horizon. Thank you so much, and God bless you all.
Uh, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very exciting moment. I remember when the Deputy President stepped forward to lead the Hustler Nation. One thing was clear. He told us, and he has continued to repeat, that he wanted to bring the forgotten majority onto the decision-making table. He insisted and he continues to remind us that it was never about him, never about positions. Coming short on the hills is the community of Mount Kenya. It has also told us that it is not about positions, but the destiny of our children. So when you come to Kakamega and you find that Senator Malala and myself, somebody wants to use us as pawns so that we waste time fighting each other, that then moves away from the dream of the Deputy President of us avoiding positions but pushing the people's agenda. Similarly, it contradicts the voter in the mountain who is saying it is not about position but about the welfare of the people. I therefore want to confirm that being a student of Michael Kijana Omalwa, who taught us that when you step backwards, one step, it makes it easier for your community to get more. He demonstrated in 2002. I now want to announce to the people of my community, the Western Kenya community, that when you are a good player, in fact, if you are a utility player in soccer, you accept the position that the coach deploys you to. Today, I'm pleased to inform the rest of the country that you ain't seen nothing yet. I have not stepped down. In fact, I have stepped up so that I focus more on the common agenda that covers our people and also the rest of the Kenyans. Thank you very much. I'm presenting myself as the candidate in 2022 for the position of the Senator of the County of Kakamega in the Senate of Kenya. Thank you, everyone. Uh, the leadership of Kenya Kwanzaa, with a lot of humility, I wish to accept the nomination and the endorsement for me to run as a governor for Kakamega County. And uh, most importantly, thank my political father, Honorable former Senator Boni Halwale, for seeding ground. And he has not done so because I am a better leader than him. No. He has done so because of the sacrifice and the bigger picture Kenya Kwanzaa is looking at in the near future. And therefore, I also want to commit myself. We have a lot of work to do before us. And as a team, we are going to deliver Kakamega County to be a Kenya Kwanzaa zone. So to our opponents, brace yourself for a fierce fight because a combination of Malala and Halwale, I think you know the results. So I want to take this opportunity to thank the leadership of Kenya Kwanzaa, led by His Excellency William Ruto, uh, my party leader, Salim Davadi, who has been my first-hand uh, supporter, and my good friend and my father, Honorable Wetangula, for breaching this uh, agreement, and we want to assure you that we are going to deliver Kakamega to Kenya Kwanzaa. Thank you, and may God bless you. Uh, thank you. Uh, very much, Your Excellency, the Deputy President. Uh, the, yes. uh, the Honorable Musalia ANC leader and our colleagues from uh, 
Bungoma and Kakamega, Honorable Dwale. And with us here is also the majority leader in the Assembly of Kakamega who has joined the Kenya Kwanzaa team. I want to laud the two great leaders from Kakamega, Boni Halwale and Cleophas Malala. You know, in life we must always appreciate the great words of uh, Jawahal Nehru. Now, there is always enough for everybody's needs. There is never enough for everybody's greed. And as we stand here, I think the appreciation that there is enough for everybody's needs is what has brought us to bridge the gap and agree that the role that Boni Halwal is going to play as a senatorial candidate is not any lesser or greater than the role Senator Malala will play as our candidate for governor. A good leader must always be ready as you climb on the shoulders of others to go up, be ready also to be climbed on and be stepped on by others to climb up, because that's what life is all about. So today, for the people of Kakamega, a county that is so important to the politics of this country by its sheer size and demographic importance, has now had a situation where Kenya Kwanza, we are going together as one. Remember that friendly fire can also have fatal consequences. So we have removed the possibility and the risk of friendly fire between us, and we now have to face our worthwhile competitors. And I have no doubt whatsoever that in going into Kakamega with a Malala Halwale candidacy, we are going to overrun our opponents in the shortest time possible and deliver a sweet victory to Kenya Kwanzaa and in a greater extent to the people of Kenya. Lastly, as Kenya Kwanzaa, we want to continue uh, under the leadership of our debut president to create harmony where there is unhelpful competition so that we can be able, as we did in Narok, as we have done in other parts of the country, bring our teams together because we know that we are facing a state machine abusing state resources in the contest for the leadership of 2022, 9th of August. And for us to win this race, which we are going to win, we must be strategic, we must sacrifice, we must give and take, and above all, we must constantly look at the bigger picture, that you are better off in a winning team without scoring than scoring in a losing team. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the, our supporters of Kenya Kwanza in Kakamega County, and on my own behalf, I want to take this opportunity to thank and congratulate our two brothers for agreeing to work together. We have had a problem over time now, uh, especially when we are in rallies. We have had, uh, uh, of course, supporters of uh, Malala and supporters of uh, Dr. Boni Halwale um, having different opinion, but I'm happy that from today going forward, we will now be rallying together um, and that is very good for Kenya Kwanza team. I just want to remind our colleagues that uh, in politics there's a lot of sacrifice one takes. I remember when we were with the, the party leader of ANC, he had to sacrifice one point, at one point. And uh, also our presidential candidate had to sacrifice at one point. I myself, I had sacrificed at one point when I left uh, uh, the candidature of uh, running for governor for Dr. Halwale. And therefore, I think it was... Uh, logical now that we wanted a ticket that will represent our Kenya Kwanzaa team it was just logical that uh, one of them sits ground for the other therefore I just want to thank the two of them for making it possible and uh, quickly also just promise the 
those who are opposed to us, our opponents, to be ready because now Kenya, Kwanza, and Kakamega County will be a formidable team. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to start by congratulating our DP for your tireless effort to liberate this country. I also want to thank my two leaders for their patience and understanding. That is much more honorable Musalia Mudabadi and Moses Wetangula. Mashima DP, your consistency has made some of us realize this is the way to go. And I urge many young Kenyans, wherever they are, let us unite, support our DP, so that this Kenya can belong to all of us. To my two brothers, this is just the start of the journey. Let us arm ourselves and make sure we deliver. Thank you. 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 Thank Kenya Kwanza Coalition. Very good, very good. Okay, good people. Do you want to say something? Thank you very much. I think we want to salute the leadership of Bonne Halwale and Senator Malala. They have shown great sacrifice. They have exhibited leadership on another level where a decision has been made that we don't use our energy, time and resources against each other, but we use our time and energy and resources towards the victory of Kenya Kwanza team. And I want to salute our two brothers, and we from the mountain are very, very, very encouraged. We have done the same in Nyeri, and from what has happened today, it also informs us that where we could be having friendly fire, we need also to go out of our way and apply sacrifice and exhibit leadership so that we have one strong team that will give us victory on the 9th of August. Thank you very much. Mimi na wataka kushukuru makamu wa rais, mwishima William Ruto, mwishimi wa Musali ya Mdavadi, mwishima mwasa wetangula, na hasa nduguzetu wa wili, wachezaji hodari, katika timu ya Kenya Kwanza mheshimiwa Boni Halwale ambaye ana uzoefu mwingi wa kisiasa na ndugu yetu kijana Chipukizi mheshimiwa Senator Malala ili tukienda mbele tumetengeneza timu ambaye ni ya kuleta mabadiliko katika nchi yetu so i want to thank that going forward just like Narok Kakamega is seen and urge our leaders that where we have a friendly fire, we avoid that and we have one team, one Kenya team, that will secure both our presidential votes, our county, governatorial, and senatorial and women rep votes, and have the largest constituency within our coalition. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, good people. I think uh, that sums up our uh, press conference. And uh, just to conclude by saying, today here, we witness the experience and knowledge of a senior member of our team, Boni Halwale, giving way to the youth and passion of a younger person in our coalition, Cleo Malala. This is, this is the experience that uh, uh, we as Kenya Kwanzaa believe in, that there is space for, for everybody. I would request these two guys, maybe we can move this. Yes. To witness us. Very good. 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 Good.